Yo, what is up boys and girls, it's Vozovic here. Before you start watching, follow me on Instagram. I'm dropping lots of cool and useful stuff out there and you will be up to date with all the new uh, releases and you will see some behind the scenes. I've been waiting for this episode because today we are going to make uh, a Ramirez type beat. Since 2017 he was one of my favorite artists as far as rap music is concerned and he's highly influenced by dark rap, funk and sometimes even trap metal so he's like blending styles together and that's what I love about him and he can make something completely dark and heavy and just hard trap kind of stuff and the other day he can just make the chillest album ever like the play as manual his latest release with uh, rocky for example i was making this chill rocky kind of beat uh, a few months ago so if you want you can uh, check it out but today we are making dark and hard stuff here is a super cool hi-hat loop i found in uh, one of the cymatics packs and it just inspired me to make that kind of funky heavy uh, trap beat So that's basically what I have in my head right now. Um, so let's start the grind. Here I have my funk beat template. So I already have samples loaded in. Um, and let's just put those hi-hats uh, here. I don't usually do it, but this time I will start from the drum pattern. We want to create a hard hitting, funk inspired, funk influenced uh, kind of drum pattern. I had my kick linked with the 808 and this already sounded super fire. Uh, but let's unlink it because I don't want uh, to have this right now. And here is the guilty one for that because we are sending MIDI from kick to 808. Now let's record the hi-hats. I've looped the 808 sample uh, and now I have those long 808s. And now let's change the pattern. Sounds super cool. Let's just copy and paste the pattern and we'll have the sub bass. If you are wearing headphones, you are hearing the sub bass now. And why is the sub bass important? Because I don't always use sub bass. Uh, honestly, I really rarely use sub bass, but in those super hard trap beats, uh, when we saturate the 808, when it's distorted, sometimes it's just losing these, this super low end. So you can uh, either not saturate the low end and leave it as it is, or just add a sub bass to fill uh, the space uh, for the super low end. It doesn't have to be like really loud. Okay, so now let's find an opening crash, uh, for example, in 808 mob uh, sample pack. Here is a crash. And here is another accenting crash. I will make every second crash a little quieter, uh, so it has more dynamics. Let's try to add a perk loop. Uh, so let's just fit it in here. You know, just a few accents.
Let's spice the 808 up a little bit with the uh, multi-wave shaper. Um, I will be talking about this plugin pretty soon in another video because it's just, it's just fire. And now it's super hard. Yeah. This could be a ghost main type beat. <laughs> I found this cool effect and I chopped it right here. It's like a phone or something. And there is a loop called Vital Science right here. Uh, which is like, you know, I don't know how do you call this device in hospital that measures your pulse. But it, it has this cool ambience to it, and that's how it sounds like with the beat. It's cool, let's leave it as it is. And let's add a siren at the very beginning of the beat, so... It's not this usual Kill Bill siren, uh, even though it's named like that, but it sounds like this. It's cool that Cymatics didn't recycle those sounds, th those typical sounds, they just made their own siren. And let's throw some delay on the siren. And maybe let's make it a little shorter. Okay, the drums are done, they sound super fire with those samples over here. Uh, and now we need a kind of dark and trippy melody because it turned out to be like this uh, super hard, scary trap kind of beat. Maybe not scary, just dark because uh, it depends on the melody we'll just make right now. First of all, let's just browse through some uh, cool sounds in Xpand. Hard leads, for example, I don't know, let's just find something. Okay, let's try to record that. And now let's try to layer this sound. That was tropical. This sound is super cool. How cool is that? I need one more layer, something with a higher octave maybe, so let's just make it an octave higher. Those bells are super fire. They just... They just fit the whole vibe. And now let's just throw some half time uh, on the bells. Or maybe let's just prepare uh, another section for the instruments and let's just throw half time on the instruments as a whole. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will make some variations between choruses and the verses, so uh, halftime will play a huge role in this beat. And let's add some uh, vinyl effects to the whole instrument uh, thing, because I think we need to make this sound a little more old school. And the last thing I want to add is just a Memphis sample because it needs one. Okay, the sample is already chopped, so I just want it to be faster. Oh, 
Now, the EQ. And some beat crusher. And some chorus. I think we could add some DK in on the 808 because it's it's same as loud for for the whole thing and it's just a little too hard I think at the at the end so here I'm just making the envelope a little softer so it will just um, go quieter much better I think we can also cut out some of the high end from those bells because they are a little bit of a disruption for me much better because after all in those hard 808 dark rap kind of beats I think the drums are playing uh, the biggest role even though I know uh, the vibe of the song depends on the sample on on the instruments and stuff but the drums are the base uh, for everything you can't go anywhere without those drums so this melody isn't like you know the best melody in the world but it just has to be a little trippy a little dark and I like to keep it in the background because I want the 808 and all of the super snappy punchy drums in the front so they hit you right in the face. And that's how I'm making my uh, dark, hard, uh, Ramirez uh, type beats. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel with all the notifications so you are up to date with all the new episodes. If you want me to teach you something, mixing and mastering, music production, etc., uh, hit me up on Instagram or any other social platform. Please let me know what you think about this beat in the comment section down below and please uh, tell me what artists you'd like to hear about, especially for from this dark rap kind of circle, uh, because that's uh, where I'm from, let's say, and that's those are the artists I'm listening to and I would love to discover some new ones and uh, create something for you guys. That's everything. My name is Dominic. You've been watching Vodzo Beats and keep the good vibes alive.